Learning how to edit videos has never been easier because in the past, you'd have to spend hours learning complex software and even more hours manually editing your video. But now with the advancement of AI, you can actually create high quality videos 10 times faster with barely any learning curve. And in this video, I'll be walking you through step-by-step -step on how you can do this so that way you can create your first video today. Now the video editing software I'll be using is Riverside, which is a great place to start for beginners. It runs directly in your web browser, which means you don't need a super fast computer. And it has AI built in, which can literally edit your video or podcast for you. Riverside was kind enough to sponsor this video and they're actually giving you guys a 30 day free trial. So you can hop in, follow along for free with me and have time to test it out for yourself to see if it's right for you. You just have to go through the affiliate link in the description and use my coupon code to claim the discount. And with that, let me show you how to edit your first video. Now, right when you log in, you'll have a few options up here that you can choose from. Uh, you can actually record your videos inside of Riverside if you want. I have my camera hooked up to my computer and I recorded actually this video down here. Uh, otherwise, you can upload your videos if you do record them with a camera separately and transfer the videos to your computer. You can just click upload here and upload your files directly into Riverside and then we can use those to edit. And since I already recorded my video here in Riverside, I'm just going to click over here and I'm gonna click edit. And here we are inside the editor and let me just briefly show you around. On the left side, you're gonna have your transcript of your video, which we can actually use this to edit later on. We got our preview screen. We then have uh, the options along the side, including co-creator, which is the AI we can literally just talk to to edit our videos. And then on the bottom here, we have the timeline. And so this is our entire video file. The green bumps here are the points where I'm probably talking. And you got options here to play, pause. You can zoom in on the timeline and zoom out. And then you also have plus buttons here if you wanna add more content. If you have more video clips and things you wanna add, you can easily click the plus button and add those in. Now for me, this is just an eight minute talking head video that I wanna edit and put together and make look good. Now, like I was saying earlier, with old editors, you'd have to manually do everything, but not with Riverside. So what I can do is actually just go up to co-creator here and it's going to pop up our AI assistant tool here. And so what we can do is actually just type to the AI assistant to have it edit our video for us. Now you'll see some suggestions here. And there's also the suggestion tab, just in case you don't know exactly what to type. And what I'm actually gonna do, I want all the silences removed, all the parts where I'm not talking, I'm thinking through what my next sentence is gonna be. I just want to remove those. So I'm gonna say remove silences. We're gonna click send on that. And co-creator is gonna go through the video and find all the silent parts, and it just did it. You'll see these all parts just got blacked out. It knocked out all the silent parts where I wasn't talking just like that. Now, I also wanted to remove any mistakes I might have made in a video where I messed up my lines. So I'm gonna type in remove uh, mistakes. We'll send that off and it's gonna go through and it's gonna look for any mistakes and it's gonna remove those automatically from the video as well. Now, outside of removing silences and the mistakes where I messed up my lines, there may be other parts you wanna cut out. And what's really nice is you can just edit right here in the transcript. So you can see here I say, test, test, here we go. That's obviously not part of my video. I can just select this and then click the trash can here and poof, it's deleted. And so all I'm really doing is just editing a text document and it's editing the video for me. Now, one more additional way that you can actually trim out things in your video is you can actually zoom in on the timeline. I'm just pinching with my fingers to zoom in, or I could always just use this right here to zoom in as well. And I actually end up coughing here and messing up this line. What I can just do is select this whole part here where I messed up my line and was coughing, and I can just click delete and that knocks it off my video as well. So for both using the transcript or we wanna select a certain area and delete it, or just remove the silences and the bad takes. There's multiple ways to just cut out all the fluff. Now there's also a lot of additional effects that the co-creator can do. So if I go up here, again, if I go to suggestions, it's gonna show me a whole list of things I can do. So one of them is improve sound. Maybe you don't have the greatest mic in the world or there's a bit of echo in your room or some background noise, maybe a fan or something. You can click improve sound and it's gonna go through the video and use AI to enhance my audio. Now, in this example, I'm already using a nice kind of studio microphone here, but it can still enhance it more and make it more podcasty. And what I'll actually do, just to show you this a bit, I'm gonna click on AI tools over here and you'll see the magic audio here is processing. I'll give that a second to finish up. 
There we go. And then what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna turn it off for a second, just so you can see, hear the audio without it, and then we'll reapply it here. So let's take a listen without it. The reason why most people will not be successful on YouTube is not because they don't have the skills per se. All right, and then let's go back to that word and then let us apply the magic audio. The reason why most people will not be successful on YouTube is not because they don't have the skills per se. So that made it sound way more like a podcasty kind of feel. And maybe you don't like the super audio enhanced all the way. You can also adjust how much you want to apply that effect. So even if you just want a little bit more enhanced, like my office space here, you can usually hear some like stuff in the background if you have headphones on and listen quietly. So I can even just turn this up to like 20% of it just to kind of make sure nothing in the background really comes through if someone's listening with headphones and that'll be good enough too. But I've also seen this do wonders for people who are like filming on their phone or just a camera in an echoey room without a mic right by their face. So really powerful stuff here. Now that we have the basic cuts done, we've enhanced our audio, let's actually spice up our video with some effects. And one of those I wanna do is text. So there's this point in the video where I say, if you wanna win at YouTube, you have to give the viewer what they want. I kinda of wanna emphasize that point and have text come on screen while I'm saying that. So I can actually do, I can select all this. If you wanna win at YouTube, you have to give the viewer what they want. And I can click the add button here and then click text. And then I can actually choose text here with that statement. So I'm just gonna click title for now. And right now that is pretty big, but I can select this here and I can change the text size here to let's do like a medium that fits pretty well. I can easily just drag this down to right here. And then what I'm also gonna do is click on this button, which is the animation. And I can actually make this fade in, which looks great. And then I'll also have it do a fade out just like that. Perfect. And with that, let's take a look. I'm gonna start the video a little bit further back here. Let's take a look with this text effect applied. Also, serving viewers and adding value and doing something for them. If you wanna win at YouTube, you have to give the viewer what they want and make the content. I love that. And I'd actually like it to sit on a little bit longer too. So I can zoom in here. I can just grab the edge here and drag it out a little further. And now it'll stay on screen uh, longer. Now on top of adding text effects, let's also add some B-roll, which is essentially a, a video clip that'll play over the top of our main clip and allow us to make something more engaging. You'll see what I mean here. So right at this point, I'm talking about people expect, they, they think they can just record themselves playing video games along with thousands of other people and think, you know, they're gonna get views somehow. So I'd love as I'm saying that for a clip uh, or a video clip to come on screen and, and show someone maybe playing games or uh, like a streamer. So right at this point here, I'm gonna to go to co-creator and I'm gonna tell co-creator, add B-roll of a gaming streamer. And I'm gonna send that off. And so what co-creator is gonna do is it's gonna go through you know, a huge library of stock videos and try to find someone gaming. Here we go, it just found the video for us. Uh, it's a, I've added a four second B-roll video of a gaming streamer for your clip. So now for this section, we literally have B-roll. So I go back here. Let's just watch this with the B-roll on screen. They're like, I wanna play video games and just have people watch me play video games. And so they record themselves just playing video games along with thousands of other people. And then they wonder, wait, why, why, why aren't I getting views? It must, that's, that's perfect. And so I can actually sprinkle these for my video. So anywhere I see a spot, I can literally select any other that spot. So I'm talking about the, the most lazy action here. I could select that, go to code creator, add it B-roll of someone acting lazy, you know? And it's gonna go through the stock footage, find that video. And of course, if there's a video I don't like that it adds here of, of someone being lazy, here's the example to what this video looks like. Or just someone sitting in bed reading, being lazy, okay. But if I, you know, if I don't like that B-roll, I could always scroll down on this side here and go to videos and I could pick stock footage for myself if I actually wanted to. But if I just want AI to add it, I wanna simplify things, I can easily just talk to code creator here and, and add those in. Now on top of that, if we wanted to, there is also the ability to add captions to your video if you want to. It can apply auto captions and have those going across the bottom. I'm gonna skip that for now. And then they also have the ability to add music as well if you wanna have background music going on. You can also have that or ask code creator to find you music that would actually fit 
whatever type of video you're going for. But with some text effects, some B-roll, some basic cuts, that's really all you need for your first video. But what's also in here is Riverside can help you build out your next pieces of content. And this is especially important if you're a business owner. So inside of co-creator, you can actually head down to suggestions here and go to promote and it can literally create short form clips for you. It can create newsletter, a blog post, LinkedIn posts from the information from your content. So it's not just making posts, it's here's what Colin said about growing a YouTube channel. Let's turn the, that into a LinkedIn post that I can go and post somewhere else. So it's gonna go through all my information and actually create social media content for me. And just take a look at this. Many believe that mastering video editing or creating eye-catching thumbnails is the key to YouTube success. But the real secret? Understanding your audience's desires. And then it continues on. Like I can totally copy this, paste this into LinkedIn and be able to use it as content. And then on top of just not being able to get written posts for different platforms, if I back out here for a second, I can actually go over to made for you over here and I can scroll down and you can actually get short clips generated from your long form video. So you only have to film one long form video and it turns it into short form content for you. Now, as long as your video is long enough, these are gonna auto generate, but you can also go up to the create button here and you can click uh, create magic clips and you can customize them. So whether you want them to be really long clips or short clips, or just have it auto set to duration, you can choose your, your captions and you can build that out also in your, your, your uh, brand center where you can actually customize your branding and things you like in your videos, which I already did for mine. And now I have these clips here that I can either just run with as is, or I can go in further and edit more if I wanna make some, some small changes. And I actually wanna show you one of these. Uh, this one here, it does make a mistake in the beginning, which I can edit out pretty quick, but I want you to take a listen to this. Because you can have the entire because you can have the entire skill set. You can make the best thumbnails. You can know how to use a camera and light your videos and do all these different types of things. But if you're not making content for the viewer, none of that's going to matter. None of those skills actually work. So that was a really good other than a little mistake. But again, I can just click edit here real quick. Um, and I can just select these words that, you know, I don't want there and then just click the delete button. And there, it's now it's gonna start properly. You can make the best thumbnails, you, you know, and then it's gonna go through that. Or if I wanna add B-roll or make any other changes, poof. But really quickly, you can have multiple pieces of content, both written and in short form, which is ultimately more places for people to find you, for you to be able to reach your audience and bring them to your community, your business, et cetera. And once you're done, you just export your video out and you save it to your computer, and then you can upload that to YouTube, to TikTok, anywhere you wanna send your videos. And again, this is completely free to try out for yourself. You can go through the ad affiliate link in the description, use that coupon code. You've got 30 days where you can upload a video in here and try this tool out for yourself with the mix of the simplicity, but then also the powerful AI tools. This can help you get that first video video out and help you keep creating content even if you have limited time. Hope this video was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one.